welcome to yet another video. Now we're talking about the new moon in Cancer coming up at the end of June. I don't know exactly when I'm posting this video, but just so you know, it's at the end of June. And it's the new moon in Cancer. Again, I'm going to show you our Moonology deck by Yasmin Boland. I love this deck. You and your loved ones are safe. I think this is a really good reminder for this moon. You are safe in a world that consistently reminds us that we're not enough and that validates our fears, we long for freedom and for simpler times. So use this moon to foster a connection with those who you love, who reassure us that all is good. You know, all is good. Um, I've been repeating this in all of the June videos, but this is a time to deepen your emotions and like express your true intentions. I know that it's not always easy to feel like we're safe, um, to be ourselves among other people, even those who we think love us and, and want our best intentions. Um, wow, I feel like that's especially true for Pride Month, right? And we're wrapping up Pride Month with this new moon in Cancer. New moons are for manifestation, so what are you trying to bring into your life? I feel like this moon can bring changes to the home front because cancer is about the home and where we feel at home it rules the fourth house of origin so it's very much about our ancestors as well this is a time to trust your instincts and to value your intuition um, it's also about the inner child So learning how to play, yeah? Coming out the top, we have North Node, step out of your comfort zone. So this is, there's a message coming out about following your true North. Your purpose here is, is becoming illuminated. And even though this is a new moon reading, we have the full moon coming out as well. Surrender to the divine. So possibly there's a new beginning coming that you are being thrust into. That's sort of what it feels like. We have the new moon in Virgo, which came out for the full moon reading as well. The new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. I feel like that's a reminder to be of service to others. There, if the North Node path is being illuminated, it's illuminated through the lens of how are you contributing to the richness of the lives of other people? Virgo is all about health, service, assessment, and health through the lens of like alternative health. So maybe your intention is to take better care of yourself by some other means that you don't normally do. This is a good time to meditate. The new moon cancer, like meditation could potentially reveal um, like where our insecurities are. Banish insecurities through meditation, I feel like is a message of the new moon cancer. In general, I feel like it's, you know, a calling out you know, a reminder that we all want the same things. And I'm not saying we all want the same things, but like in, in, in our essence, we want the same things. So learn to trust and honor your feelings and find your people who want the same things. Um, I like the, um, what I did for the last Lunation video where I did a cross spread the Celtic cross, I feel like, I feel like it can reach, it, it's more specific and it can reach somebody who really needs to hear a message. So let's do that. The Moonology cards say, step out of your comfort zone, surrender to the divine, <laughs> and a time to give rather than take. The world just wanted to flip out you remember how I talk about the world? This is like the ending. It's a paradigm shift. So something is ending for good and there's a fresh new beginning. 
What could this be about? New Moon Cancer says you are safe. You are safe to love. You and your loved ones are safe. So if you haven't shown somebody that you care, now's the time to do it. If you haven't been taking care of yourself um, properly, now's the time to really hone in on why that is. What's preventing you from doing that? All right, let's move on. Let's get this read out. I'm using the Modern Witch Tarot. Happy Pride Month. I interviewed this deck as well when I first got it, and this is like in your feelings deck. This is like the best friend voice of the deck that's going to be like, who did what to you? You know, we have the magician popping out. So someone's in their manifesting power. Someone has received a message um, of what to pursue, I sense. And now they're looking toward how this is going to happen. Surrender the to the divine is here as well, which makes me think that It's not the magician that you need, but strength. Let's see if that comes out. We have the high priestess showing up. Um, look at that, one and two. They follow each other directly. And the world popped out. So I know we skipped over the fool, but this is maybe for somebody who's, who has already taken a leap of faith, right? That's the leap of faith card. It's like, here goes nothing. Um, the opportunity here is to seek your inner wisdom. The challenge then is this Eight of Pentacles, the work card. So the message with work could be, um, for example, are you wasting your time with work that isn't meaningful? Or maybe work is getting in the way of some connection here. It's entirely possible. What do you want? The Nine of Pentacles. Look, another progression, Eight to Nine of Pentacles. The other progression was Magician to the High Priestess, which is in the Major Arcana 1 and 2. So things are definitely moving forward. Let's keep going. Okay. What I'm getting is, if this is for you, and you are have a clear idea of what you're trying to manifest here. The reason that the work card is here in the challenge position is because you have to go about it through other means than the 3D, the physical. Have we not learned anything from this month? I started the first week's energy read with um, the Illuminated Love Oracle message, which was transcending 3D to 5D. 3D to spirituality. If something is not yet transcended, now it is the time. Um, the outcome, is, and, I, and I say that because the Five of Pentacles, this like this lack card, this like wanting to come out from, come in from the cold. Um, this this card in, in this deck, as well, or maybe it's in, in another deck. But you know, every Rider Waite deck has it's like its own special messaging. So I'm like maybe mixing them up a little bit. It doesn't matter. The message is, you're not the only one who wants to move on. So, what would happen if you trusted that what was in your highest good will happen? You ever hear like what you desire is already yours? Like what if if you, what if you tried to stop trying. In the past foundation, the foundation of what this is, the story, if it resonates for you, is the King of Swords. Kings don't need any validation. It's the highest of the swords, which is our intellect, our knowledge, the nervous system. It's like you have a really good understanding of who you are, what you want, the, the, um, the kind of like leadership that you represent through your ideas. 
I feel like this message is for somebody who understands what they want. Um, they're trying to go out about it very logically, very 3D, and it's just not working out. So if what you want is the kind of success that feels like comfort, right? This is like what the new moon is about, is like this comfortable home, this, um, the Nine of Pentacles is about nurturing self-confidence. It's about understanding that, you know, wealth can be shared, but wealth starts with you and how you're nurturing yourself. Um, and so maybe you've gotten to this place because in the outcome, we see the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the truth of the soul's exchange. So when you trust and believe in your instincts and your intuition enough to know, right, knowing where and when to share your authentic self and with whom, I feel like this is, this is the secret sauce. Cancer is about the home. It's about being with loved ones. So it's, it's want, it's a reminder that we can't do this alone. You're going to have to share with somebody. Okay. So you're showing up again as the ace of wands. This is like inspiration, inspired action, shit, ace of cups as the environment. You're in a very loving situation, whatever it is. Either you've got your own self-love, like your cup is overflowing, or you're, well, yeah, that is the environment position. The environment that you're in is very loving, whether you know it or not. So this message of like, you are safe, I feel like is true for you, for the collective, or for whomever this is. Hopes and fears, the wheel of fortune. Do you have some karma that you feel like is going to come back to you? <laughs> um, and the outcome, Four of Swords. This hasn't shown up here, this like car, you know, the card of like the happy home. It showed up during the full moon, but like it's a theme with cancer and now we're in cancer season you know, at the time of the, the new moon. So <clears throat> I'll say this, you can't do it alone. A happy home requires the love and tenderness of others, you know, could be other people, your pets, um, just your community in general. So I feel like this is really asking you to um, open yourself to this idea that you need others, that we all need each other. This might be out of your comfort zone because the North Node is being highlighted here. There's, there's like a mission and a purpose. There's something that you have to do. There's something that you're going toward and you have something that's valuable to others and it's not something physical you can offer. It's your wisdom. It's your inner knowing. It's your, it's what happens when your energy enters the room with other people. Let's get some clarification here because I feel like this is super broad, but it's extremely positive. Show me the Wheel of Fortune card. Why is this here? We have the sun. I said inner child work earlier, right? Inner child work. Learn to play. Be playful. Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. Another progression, Six, Seven of Wands. I swear I shuffle these cards. It seems like there'll be a fast victory the moment that you realize that this is worth fighting for. Like if you step up and say, yeah, this is what I want, you'll have quick success. And what you want is this nine of pentacles, which is luxury, comfort. And look, the 10 of cups just showed up, which is ultimate contentment, happiness, the happy family. 
It's almost like it's saying, can't we just be okay? Can't we just all be all right? Um, let's get some advice for this new moon in Virgo. How can that energy help us this week, this week of the new moon and the two weeks following? Okay, I got cut off because <laughs> the camera died. But um, the question was, what is this new moon in Virgo? Um, what is the lesson of this energy that's here right now? And it came out with the Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So, um, and the Two of Pentacles underneath. So, the Two of Pentacles is a reminder that we can't be in, in all places at the same time. It's saying... We're here in the 3D, then we go to the 5D, 3D, 5D, spiritual, mundane, like, it's an oscillation. It's always an oscillation. It's always going to be a, be a balance because the truth is we are 3D human beings, but we also recognize ourselves as spiritual beings inside of this realm. That's underneath. Hierophant showed up. That's Taurus. By the way, Taurus is the sign um, that the North Node currently lives in. Are we gonna focus? Are we gonna focus? There it is. This is Taurus. This is the throat chakra. This is about expression. This is about the structure of spirituality. So a time to give rather than take. How are you contributing? How are you expressing yourself in a way that contributes to the spiritual nature of humanity. That's what I'm here to say. Um, the Six of Pentacles also showed up and the Hermit. And this is why I say contribute because the Six of Pentacles is about generosity and the Hermit is about going within to seek your gifts. And you see the gift of the Six of Pentacles there. So once you've done the work, meditation, whatever it is, seeking your own um, light, you know, it, traditionally the hermit carries a lantern, but in this case, it looks like it's a laptop on a shelf, but the light of the star that's traditionally in his lantern is on the necklace dangling from the neck of this person on the card. What does that say? That says that we all carry a light. It is our own special gift. And it is also our responsibility to express that gift in the best way that we know how. To bring people together, to express joy, to live in joy, to have success, you know, in our own lives, at home and with others. I don't know if you're feeling this energy. If you are, let me know. But I also feel like this is, this is gonna take some time. This might not be happening right away because we have the Wheel of Fortune. It might take a while. And we also have the out, these two outcome cards as the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups. The Four of Swords is the meditation card. Again, it's also a four. Fours are really good, stable, cards, structures, and two of cups is the truth of the soul's exchange. So it's almost like there's a waiting period between when, between the, like self-discovery and this kind of expression that's being here, you know, that's showing up in the cards. The opportunity is the high priestess. That's your own inner knowing. It's not anything you're going to find outside of yourself. It does require work, but it's not going to be physical work in the way that we normally think of it. It's not going to be a conversation with somebody that's going to change your life. It is you doing your inner work, realizing that you have the willpower, the desire, the inspiration to create something, to connect to yourself. You could say, my intention is to know myself better through the exercise of my intuition. And then apply that to your environment, which is the Ace of Cups. 
knowing that when you fill your cup, it begins to overflow into everything else around you. Like I said, the new moon in Cancer is you and your loved ones are safe. And there should be quick success. Knight of Swords is the fastest moving energy. Six of Wands is victory, acknowledgement. And the Seven of Wands, this is a bit of like a defensive card, you know, like it could be seen as resistance, but I feel like, and maybe there will be a little bit of resistance. But I also feel that, you know, in the most positive light, the most positive message I could derive from this is just to say like, stand up for yourself and put yourself first and always act compassionately towards others. Manifest something that is good for you and good for all. That's what I got. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. All the people who are watching on the other side. Um, like, subscribe, share, do the thing so I could do more of this and maybe just do this. That would be pretty sweet. Um, I'll see you on the next video.